Hello, and welcome to this Bob walkthrough session. Now, before we get into the product, I wanted to introduce myself. So I'm Olivia, or Liv, um, and I'm one of the solution engineers based out of our London office. Now, I've been in the tech space for about eight years now, but most importantly, I've been on quite a journey uh, with Bob myself. Um, so I originally joined Bob as an implementation manager back in 2020. And now I work with companies to find how Bob can be the best solution for them. Now, from my time in this role, I've identified some key priorities from HR leaders that I speak with. The first being maximizing the employee experience. And by that, I mean, how do we enrich the employee experience, make everyone feel like they're part of the same company and foster that culture of collaboration as we know, culture keeps employees. And number two, driving an agile strategy. In this changing world of work, we want to be able to be agile in the way that we approach our strategies, whether we're growing or whether we're adapting to a change in circumstances. Number three, streamlining, automating and saving time. I truly believe there's no reason to be doing mundane activities now when we have automation tools at our fingertips. And I'm really excited to show you how Bob can help with some of those. And number four, creating global transparency. So many businesses now are based across multiple sites or countries um, or have employees working remotely. And we wanna be able to see this overall view of the whole business. And this leads really nicely into point five, is what are we doing with this visibility over the business? We wanna use this data to help us make better decisions so that we can drive forward for success. So now it's time for us to go in and meet Bob. And when we do this, um, we're gonna be meeting Oren and she is our global director of human resources. So the challenges and the priorities that I've just gone through are gonna be really important for Oren. So welcome to Bob. As you can see, here, here is our homepage. And I hope you see that it's got a social media look and feel. And it's got a really beautiful, inviting UI. And it's got these quick calls to actions here, tasks I need to complete or actions that I wanna take. Now thinking of the maximizing the employee experience, we have our newsfeed style dashboard here. And this is where we can post shout outs to the wider company. And here I can do a shout out to a specific audience as well. We wanna make sure everything here is super engaging and relevant to every employee that interacts with it. We can do quick polls um, if we wanna get quick feedback from our employees. But my favorite is granting kudos. And we can grant kudos for a job well done and, and shout out a particular employee. As I can see here, Dominic's actually granted a kudos to Suzanne for some great work that she's done. So I can jump in here and much like other features and calls to action we've seen on other systems we may use, I can easily react and write a nice comment of encouragement. Now, as I scroll through the homepage, you'll see that I've got my essentials links here. And these are to other tools that I may use. And again, these can be filtered down to be relevant to who the user is. And speaking of other tools we can use, these lovely shout outs and noticements here, these can feed directly through to Slack and Teams so we can catch employees in the flow of work. Now, Bob is all about celebrating employees. So you'll see here, we've got, as long with our kudos, we can send birthday wishes, celebrate new hires and anniversaries. And as we're all about collaboration, it's really important for us also to know who's available for us to collaborate with today. And that could be employees who aren't out on leave, or also having visibility from a global standpoint of public holidays where employees may not be working. Now, as I scroll back up to the top, let's say Oren wants to book a holiday. So she goes in to request her leave and she could actually do this from Slack or Teams or the mobile app. She's going to select the holiday policy and the dates that she wants to be off for. As we can see here, 
Bob simulated the days that she's going to be taken. She can write a little note to remind her where she's going. She hits submit and that is sent off to her manager for approval. And again, these notifications can be given to the manager in the workflow that works best for them. And you may notice there's a number of different icons down the side here. Oren, as our admin, has access to a number of different modules. This includes talent for rating employees' performance, hiring, compensation of when she's looking to do these merit cycles. But Oren has a project on the horizon, and she's really looking for someone to collaborate with on this project. So she goes over to our club view to look to understand some of the employees in the organization. Now, this project is going to be in relation to the London office. So she used a quick filter to filter just those employees based in London. And using this club view, she's got different ways to visualize employees, all the way from maybe what hobbies they enjoy doing. But in this instance, Oren is working on a creative project within the London office. So she really wants to understand who the creatives are so she can get someone who's really enthusiastic at working on this with her. And here she's found Millie and she's navigated quickly to Millie's profile. Now Millie works in the event space, which is great for this initiative that Oren is running. And in a quick snapshot, she can see more information about Millie, who her manager is, how long she's been in the company, to get a full picture of who it is she's going to be reaching out to. And with this, she really wants to see where Millie sits in the org chart. So she can hit this button here, and right away she can see where Millie sits, who her colleagues are, and, the, and her manager. Now, we can edit how we view this org chart and how we want to navigate around it. We can choose whether we want to color by different metrics, such as site. We can decide if we want to view different working relationships. But we can layer this up with different information on the employee card. And this isn't limited to any of the fields created on the Bob profile. This can be as custom as your organization needs it to be. And it will always be filtered by the permissions of that employee. Now that Oren's had a little look at the org chart and she's seen where Millie sits, she's gonna jump over into the directory. And this is something that all employees are going to have access to. This isn't just limited to Oren. And as she sees here, she can see everyone in the organization and she can choose what information she wants to see against them, but also maybe how she wants to group them to make this easily digestible for her to go through. These quick insights can show her different groupings of employees, and she can always adjust the information she's seeing, who she's seeing with the filters, or download any of this data. It's all about having this information at your fingertips to allow for that collaboration between employees, so we're not gatekeeping who is in our organization. I'm going to pivot back to the org chart. And you'll see here that Oren has um, some notifications that she needs to complete. And we can see here that she has some tasks to complete. And now this is going to feed in really nicely to that automation I spoke about before. So Oren can see the tasks that are currently assigned to her. And she can open it up to see more information. You can see when it was triggered, when it needs to be due by. You can see she's got a new joiner called McKenna. And that that she needs to let her team know. So now she's done this, she can click complete. And Oren may have preferred to have done this through Slack or Teams. Again, it's catching employees where they're working. As a director, Oren also may want to track some of those other processes that are happening throughout the business. So she has visibility of all of the automation that's happening in the system. Whether we are emailing people a happy birthday, whether we are reminding people to say happy birthday, or maybe we're booking onboarding meetings. And this is differing depending on which site we're based in. It's giving that agile approach for a global company. 
Now, top of Oren's mind at the moment is retention. And the way that she keeps an eye on this is through these beautiful dashboards. Now you can see here, the dashboards are split out into key themes, growth, retention, finance. And this is where Oren can really deep dive in and get some valuable insights on what's happening in the company to plan for the future. Now, Oren's also created some of her own dashboards. She's identified what the key stats that are important to her are, and she's made a dashboard so she can get all of her insights in one place. Now, as we open up here, we can see that a lot of the heavy lifting has been done for Oren. She can see a breakdown of headcount by site or by any metric, really, that she would like to break this down by. And when she makes these changes, she can hit save. And she's going to get these valuable dynamic insights into the data that she's seeing, whether she's presenting to the company live through Bob or whether she's extracting this data and these lovely widgets to present in her next board meeting. This isn't limited to just headcount, attrition and retention. We're also looking at other metrics attached to employees' profile that may be important for Oren to understand when she's making this assessment of the workforce, such as total salaries, how salaries are changing, all the way through to promotion rates, and actually ensuring that our employees are taking enough time off. Now, we've gone through quite a bit in this demonstration. So I wanted to just quickly recap on the themes that we identified. Maximizing the employer experience. As we can see, we're really opening the gates up for our employees to collaborate and understand each other, whether that's posting shout outs to introduce a new joiner or whether that's them understanding who has similar hobbies to me and who can I connect with on a deeper level. Driving that agile strategy, being able to have that visibility and the easy access to amend any of your processes through Bob. Now, I don't need to emphasize the automation. We saw that through the task lists is whether it's celebrating employees' birthdays or anniversaries and sending them those nice emails or remembering to get them a card. But really, when it comes down to some of those other milestones, processes around promote. Uh, promotions or probation passes, or streamlining those onboarding and offboarding processes. Creating that global transparency. Now we've seen how even on an employee level, you have that transparency to engage with the wider business, but through those beautiful dashboards, Oren's also able to see all the trends of the business as a whole. And by doing this, she takes off point number five, by being able to make better decisions from the data that she's seeing. She can make actionable decisions based on what she is seeing in these dashboards in order to better the company. Now, I really hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of Bob. And obviously, please reach out to us if you want further information or if you have any questions about what you've seen. Thanks, Olivia. And thanks to everyone who attended this demo. If you'd like to see more of Bob in action, then we'd love to talk to you. You'll shortly receive a follow-up email from us with a link you can use to easily schedule some time to speak with one of our experts. We hope you enjoyed the demo and look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks and have a great day.